Okay, there we go. We got uh, those hinges welded in. Let's see, uh, adjust this one a little bit. When I first did it, it uh, was pinching quite a bit, but now I got it in. Welds look like booger snot, but uh, at least I had to run a couple beads on it just to make sure I filled in that gap. I was quite a bit of a gap from when I was grinding it out. But I did the be the uh, underside and the top side on both sides, so. There we are. Those will come in and out fine. So I'll uh, probably just clean those up and give them a little spritz of paint. Uh, just in case it rains, it doesn't flash rust. That's one more thing done. But uh, got the uh, front chains done also. So just hook them up there. To get them off the ground so safety chains are done couplers done I might clean up that uh, little jack that, that looks pretty rough and pretty soon we'll be back on to uh, getting this sheeted so Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the tires yet. I do have new tires, but I might go up a size. I can buy the rims and the tires all as one unit. And uh, not that I can carry more weight because the axle is still rated for 2,000 pounds, but uh, at least I'm overdoing everything just to make sure there's no weak points. So uh, there's a couple more things done. Okay, it's time to make the uh, uh, frame for around the toolbox. Uh, got my pieces cut, but uh, had to hopefully get my angles right. Even though it's a simple box, the bottom is going to have the angle iron uh, cupping in, supporting it. And the top is going to be flared out like a um, an edge like the top of the trailer is and I just got some support legs about eight inches so let's get that welded up quick okay so this should give you a rough idea what I plan on doing with the box it's only tacked up right now but uh, I'm gonna set it on that ledge and uh, have it raised up like this this support is only there temporarily just so it lays level. Um, I'm probably gonna move this back a little bit. It's right up against there right now. I'm gonna need room for that sheeting to go in there, so I don't want it tight against the, the frame there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna weld it in or, or just drill some holes and maybe just tack weld it in. I'm not sure yet, but uh, as you can see, it was tricky. This was not, I still got a lot of fill-in welds to do, but I got my upper one with the ledge outward and the other one inward, so it supports it. Uh, let me get the box in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see the box in it, I'll secure it in there and uh, this support I'll probably be taking out. And I'll probably hook something from this front corner and uh, maybe to the back, angle it back for the bottom. But uh, that's why I can still open the and get into the toolbox. But uh, I got to finish welding that up. I'll do that now and bring you back.
Okay, got the uh, toolbox frame done. Uh, a lot of booger welds, but uh, it was strong, as you probably saw in the one video there. I or just earlier, I was standing on it, and I weigh about 235, so this uh, this will definitely hold. Unfortunately, I made a mistake when uh, I was cutting my support tubes here. I was just going to use angle iron, and then I realized, hey, I still had some. Uh, tubing left over for when I was doing the framing. I thought, nah, just 45 degree angles should be good, but it's not quite 45 degree angles. So what I might do is down here on the bottom, weld on a square piece of metal, weld it to the frame, and then weld the tube to that, so that way at least it hangs down a little lower, and it, I can get a full weld around it. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't have uh, any square uh, plate. So let me get the toolbox in it and we'll see how that looks. Fits in there great. I might put a bottom on it more, but I don't know. I'm not putting much weight in this, so it really doesn't matter. It's just going to have some straps and small stuff in it. I don't need much for it, but I got room for it to open up the forward probably I'll leave it forward more and time I get uh, it skinned it should be pretty good <laughs> 